here so in this video let's build a simple stepper component using tailwind css and alpine js so i have created this blank html file in which i have my alpine js included as well as the tailwind css included and i have run the command to watch the changes for tailwind css so whenever we do any, add any new classes it will automatically be compiled and will be included in the output file so let's get started i have this div which will com contain my stepper component this is the div which contains all the steps so let's say this is my step one and this contains a simple content named step one content i'll copy this and let's create three steps so step two will have the step two content and step three will have step three content so this div contains my steps and i will create another div which will contain my buttons so i have a button through which i can go to the previous step and i have another button through which i can go to the next step uh, very basic structure of how the stepper will look let's see how the output looks so we see uh, all the three content previous button and the next button let's do a, a bit of styling so we have a bit of fun working on it uh, so this div let's say this has a, a padding of three also let's put the whole main div into a container also let's set the max width size of screen to medium and the margin on the both the sides should be auto let's look at it now so it looks better than it was previously let's also give uh, rounded edges so we have the rounded edges here yep and let's put the button in the center also let's add some button styling so we have the background color of purple rounded padding of two similarly for this thing all right so we have the previous and the next button and let's add a bit of a margin all right so this looks better so now when i click on the next or previous nothing happens because we have not specified any action to be taken on that so let's start with writing our alpine js this is my main div and i will initialize a alpine component by saying x data and a blank object so we need to have a property by which i can identify which of my divs or a tab is currently selected so let's say by default the selected one is the first tab this one and in here i will say x show that is show this tab or div only when the selected property is one similarly show this tab when the selected property is two and show this tab when the selected property is three so now if i go back we only see the step one content because the default selected is one and if i've moved if i want to move to the next step i will say at the right click selected minus minus and for the next step at the right click selected plus plus so if I we give it a refresh and we say next, we go to the next step, we go to the next. And if we move next, the selected is now four, which obviously does not exist. So we need to fix that. And similarly for the previous, if we go back to the one, it becomes zero. And obviously that we don't have that tab. So we need to have a way through which we can stop the user navigation up from the next and the previous step. So let's have another property and let's name it total and for now we have the total tabs as three so and instead of this thing let's change this to a function and let's say previous and next 
so we will implement this functions in Alpine so this is my previous and this is my next method in the previous method I need to go back to the previous step but the previous step should not be less than 1 if selected is greater than 1 then we can obviously go to the previous step and if selected we need to change it to this dot selected because we are in a function and if selected is less than the total number of tabs then we can move to the next step let's give it a refresh we move to the next step next step and now if I click next nothing happens because it stops and if you move to the previous we cannot go back from the step 1 content so we are good on that part but we also need to notify a user that you cannot go to the previous step after you have reached it and you cannot go to the next step after you have reached the last step so for that let's use the X binding and let's bind a class wherein we will say we need to apply the gray background which basically denotes a disabled button when the selected is equal to total similarly if we are already on the first step we cannot go beyond previous to that and then we will apply this class let's test this out we are on the first step we obviously cannot go previous to this we can obviously go to the next so next next and this stops so we are good on this part as well so this is how we can implement a basic stepper in alpine js but if we look we can do a lot of refactoring in this the first thing i don't like here is that we have specified the numbers here one two three and we have to keep a count of how many tabs we have in our content and let's say if you add three more tabs here then you need to change the count all the way here you also need to maintain the count of total so let's get rid of this and instead we will use a xref attribute which basically assigns a unique identity to this tab so now I can keep track of how many tabs I have in my step content and to refer this xref what we can do is $ref $ref dot step content so this thing identifies my this div and I need to know how many children are there in this div for that I can say children and I need to quote, know the count of that so I will say length so let's give it refresh and this thing still works so now we don't need to maintain the total count but still we need still need to have the let's say if I add another div here so I'll still need to change it to 4 and vice versa for the another tabs let's refactor this as well and instead what we can do is we will make use of x id so we will assign an id to this thing and let's say the x id is step item and we can use the id here itself we will bind it to an element id and we will say dollar id and we will say dollar id step item so xid is a way to group the elements in the alpine js and when you use dollar id it assigns a unique id which auto increments i'll show you in the output so let's assign this to all of them and now if you look at the output you will see that all our tabs all our steps have a unique id one the first one is step id step item one the next one is step item two and so on and so forth now since all of my tabs have a unique id i don't need to depend on this thing to identify which of the tab is currently selected so in now instead of this thing let's change this to a function is selected and we will pass on the id here same for all
and let's implement this function here is selected this accepts the ID of the step which we are looking for and in here we'll say step item this dot selected is equal to the step item ID so we will check if the current selected ID is equal to the what is passed then it is true so basically we will get true here let's give it a refresh we're getting some error step item ID is not defined we'll change this to this thing okay next next now we stops and now you are not dependent on the count of how many tabs or steps are there in your step content you can just go ahead and add as many let's say we add three more so we have four five six and now if we move ahead we can go to the six steps one more thing you might have noticed that when we refresh we see all the steps forever so basically what happens is by default the html loads all the steps and then the alpine.js loads and then it decides which one to show and that we can stop that behavior by adding a x cloak so let's add that here on the main div and we will add a bit of a styling here in our head which basically means that we don't want to display this thing by default and then when alpine.js comes into action it will decide what tab to show so when I give it a refresh you only see the step one content and and we are now good to go with our stepper I hope you liked it thank you